Welcome collectors to this installment of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we will be reviewing the Diecast Masters 124 scale 336 hydraulic excavator. This is the newer of the two 124 scale CAT 336 excavator. This one was released alongside the 770 haul truck in 124th scale as well. The difference between this version and then the previous 336 124 scale RC excavator by Diecast Masters is that this is in their more affordable and age-friendly RC bracket that they are marketing towards. So, with that in mind, let's begin the review with the model's box. You can see the CAT logo at the top left, and really the first thing that you need to know is 124 scale, if you may not be familiar, is a very large scale, so it has a very large box. There's a picture of the model, 336 Hydraulic Excavator Construction RC Series. These are marketed towards the younger collector, so they are very age accessible for ages 8 and up. The side of the box has some information such as it's a full construction radio controlled machine, frequency of 2.4 GHZ's authentic licensed scale model replica. It features some active movements that mimic that of the real machine, multi-players, and a control range of 25 meters. The back of the box also provides some useful information, which I know is a little bit far away, so I'll go over this in detail now. The specifications for this, again, it is a radio-controlled 124 scale plastic model. Frequency is 2.4 GHZs. The main movements or functions of the model include free rolling tracks. The machine can move to the left or the right, and the boom and the stick can go up and down with the bucket curling in or out. You will need two AAA batteries for the controller and five AA batteries for the vehicle. All of the batteries are not included with the particular RC vehicle, so if you are thinking about getting this for a gift, make sure you pick up the needed batteries separately. So that's the box. Let's get this out of the way. We'll bring in the RC model. Here it is. Again, in 124 scale, it is a very impressive piece. It is very large. It is made almost entirely of durable plastic, and that is important to note because if you are giving this as a gift to a youngster, it will take some punishment. Here is the controller. This controller is very ergonomic and very well received for many different age brackets. It's very easy to pick this up and learn the controls, which we will go over in just a minute. On the back of the controller is where you would insert those AAA batteries right here by removing a single Phillips screw. Insert the batteries, put the screw back in, you are ready to go. Underneath the model is where the series of five AA batteries would go. Then you would turn the on button to on. So with that done, let's go over the details on the model. It has rubber tracks, as you can see here. The decal application on this model is very fine. You have CAT 336 with the power stripe or power edge decaling that was present on cat machines all the way up to last year. On the back of the counterweight, you have a nice cat logo here, two lights. Moving around to the right side of the machine, you have some plastic handrail detail with a mirror. Once again, the cat 336 next generation design. Uh, a single exhaust stack, two stage hydraulic cylinders that operate the boom and the stick some undercarriage or track detailing. As far as the arm goes, there's some casted in detail to the boom, such as a light that would be here. Here's your cylinder as well, the cat decal. Your excavator bucket has seven teeth on it. Moving along to the front, the machine has a detailed cab with some clear window inserts so that you can see the operator's seat, some foot pedals, and also some gear levers as well. The door does not open, so you cannot put a figure inside. Once again, I showed you briefly underneath 
the excavator, but if you would like a closer look, there you go. And you can also see, if you're looking at the bucket right now, some wear plating detail on the bucket as well. All right, let's put it through its paces. The controller has two triggers on each side. However, it's important to note that the triggers at the rear are just there for aesthetic looks. They are not functional. In fact, they don't even go down. So it's just these two and then your two joysticks. So the left joystick, if you put it up, the excavator travels forward. If you push it down, the excavator travels in reverse. So once again, forward, and then backwards. At the time that I am filming this video, nowhere on the instruction sheet or on the box um, is there a program function for the excavator to swing around or rotate. So for all intents and purposes, it appears the only way to steer this excavator is by this joystick. So if I push it to the left, the excavator tracks to the left. If I push it to the right, conversely, the excavator tracks to the right. Now I say that because just like the 1 to 35th scale version of this RC excavator, you can, to some degree, manually rotate the excavator to there before you are completely stopped by a stopping mechanism. Likewise, you can manually rotate it to there before you are stopped once again. Now again, with the gearing sound that it makes, it gives off the impression that, it, that there should be a program function to rotate the excavator left or right. However, again, it bears repeating nowhere on the instructions manual or cycling through any button combinations that I could find does it appear that you can manually, through the remote control, rotate the excavator. So that brings us to the controls of the boom and the stick and the bucket. So, by pushing the left side trigger in one continuous motion, it's on a loop mechanism. You saw the boom and stick raise, lower, and bring back down. On the other side, it does exactly the same thing. It is, as I mentioned, if you can see right here, on a circle plastic loop. You can see that right there at the bottom part of the stick. So you can stop the cycle by doing that. Or by holding it down, you can let it do its full rotation. So that will conclude my review of Diecast Masters Caterpillar 336 Next Generation RC excavator once again in plastic in 124 scale these models are again catered towards the younger collector they're intended as gifts they are also very very affordable when we're talking about rc products in general these 124 scale models at the time that i am filming this review and again i checked with a couple of the authorized diecast masters distributors they have an msrp just shy of 50 dollars, which again is very reasonable when we're talking about a large scale rc licensed model you guys let me know down in the comments section below what you think and also if you look at your screen right now you will see a suggested link for the other model that came out alongside this, and that is the 124 scale 770 mining truck. Until next time, take care and be safe. I will catch you in the next review.